I got in this morning around 10.30 and waited on a line on the sidewalk. And then once we got through that line and into the area where you actually line up in your district, it was ridiculous. We were um, on a S line many times in curves and it took over two hours to cast the vote. And as a matter of fact, someone near and dear to me left because he had no patience to stay. I've been here with my uh, three-year-old daughter for about two hours, but it was worth it. I saw the lines in Florida and Ohio this weekend for early voting that were like eight hours long, so I figure we can handle two hours. I think we're all aware of how hard people around the world fight for the right to vote, and really, you know, two hours of standing in line is a minor inconvenience for most of us. I think with the storm, it's going to be harder for a lot of people, um, but it's not that hard for me. I live in a, you know, an area that wasn't hard hit, so... I felt it's my obligation at least to stand up for myself and for the people who can't do it this year. We live in a wonderful country where we can vote, so why wouldn't I? You know, especially being an African American and our history within this country, it's very important that we utilize that right. So uh, there was just no way I could stay home. We got here about an hour and a half ago, and we were standing on line outside for about 40 minutes before we got inside at which point we had another 40 minutes, only to find out that they actually had shifted my polling place because of the storm. Uh, so I ended up having to vote by affidavit. I have to say this was probably the most painful uh, voting experience that I've had in my adult life, uh, but understandable. I mean, the incredibly long lines are both really irritating and incredibly inspiring. I think the fact that people, after what we've been through, have been willing to stand in line for this incredibly important election uh, is, is something that makes me proud to be American.